Welcome to our guide on Laboratory Standard Operating Procedures or SOPs. Whether you're a lab manager, technician, or researcher, understanding and creating effective SOPs is crucial for maintaining the safety, consistency, and quality of your lab. In this video, we'll walk you through the essentials of writing and using lab SOPs, so let's dive in. Why are lab SOPs so important? Simply put, they are the backbone of any laboratory operation. SOPs ensure that everyone follows the same procedures, reducing errors, enhancing safety, and ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. They also play a key role in training new staff and maintaining consistency across different shifts and teams. Now let's break down the structure of a typical lab SOP. Most SOPs include the following key components. First, it will clearly outline a title and purpose for the SOP. Secondly, it will include a scope which defines the procedures and the personnel and or equipment involved. In addition, a typical lab SOP will outline who is responsible for each step. It will then list everything from materials to equipment needed to perform the procedure. Step-by-step -step instructions for procedure will also be provided followed by an outline of any risks and safety precautions. And finally, it will account for any documentation and records that need to be kept. Having these sections helps ensure that the SOP is comprehensive and easy to follow. Writing an effective lab SOP involves several steps. Firstly, you need to determine the specific process that needs an SOP. To ensure the accuracy of the SOP, you should involve an experienced lab personnel familiar with the procedure in its creation. After you have done this you should draft an initial version, ensuring it's clear and concise, then have the draft reviewed by peers or supervisors, and make necessary revisions. Before enacting it, have someone follow the SOP to ensure it's practical and accurate. Once the SOP is finalized, get an approval from the relevant authority in your lab. When crafting your SOP, keep these best practices in mind. Write as clearly as possible. Avoid jargon and write in simple, direct language. Be specific and detail every step thoroughly, but avoid unnecessary complexity. Utilize visual aids. Incorporate diagrams, flowcharts, or images to enhance understanding. Ensure consistency. Use the same format and style for all SOPs in your lab. Finally, regularly review and update SOPs to reflect any changes in procedures or equipment. Every lab SOP should include these five essential elements. 1. A clear title and purpose. 2. Comprehensive scope. 3. Clear step-by-step -step procedures. 4. Appropriate safety guidelines. 5. Record-keeping instructions. These elements ensure that your SOP is both functional and compliant with industry standards. In conclusion, well-written SOPs are more than just documents, they're critical tools that enhance lab efficiency, ensure safety, and maintain high standards of quality. By following the guidelines and best practices we've covered, you can create SOPs that meet regulatory requirements and contribute to your lab's overall success. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video.